what's up guys so the first diagram I am continuing with the image based question series this is Dr. Shivam Kesavani and the first diagram that is the A1 is showing one characteristic features of xerophthalmia that is vitamin A deficiency one of the symptom of vitamin A deficiency that is bitot spots basically it is a keratin deposition in the upper layers of the cornea superficial layer of the cornea and you can see a white triangular plaque here marked by the arrows so you cannot miss this sign the second sign shown here is keratomalacia found again in vitamin A deficiency you can see is what the uh, greater part of the cornea is being having is liquefied and uh, characteristically the superficial part is spared and most of the rest of the part except the superficial part is having liquefaction so this is keratomalacia a typical presentation of vitamin A deficiency the second thing the second diagram you can see here is castles necklace see this is due to deficiency of niacin characteristically seen in pellagra due to deficiency of niacin vitamin b3 and another question from uh, niacin deficiency is the characteristic symptoms of niacin that is the four d's dementia diarrhea dermatitis and if not treated then leads to death so these are for the four characteristic d's of vitamin b3 or niacin deficiency that is pellagra and the characteristic feature you can see in this diagram is castles necklace this figure shows a full thickness d squamation due to staphylococcus toxic shock syndrome so how does how it is caused it is caused by st staphylococcus toxic shock syndrome toxin 1 and you can see a full thickness d squamation is being seen here in this diagram so you can easily diagnose this <clears throat> the fourth important diagram or picture shown here is of scarlet fever so what does it is representing the first a a is representing the characteristic rash which blanches on pressure so you can see different areas of blanching due to pressure the second one showing a strawberry tongue characteristic feature of scarlet fever and the third one is so showing pastia sign that is petechial rash in cubital fossa now this is scarlet fever how does it is caused it is caused by streptococcus a and the toxin here is erythrogenic toxin strep a group a strep causes scarlet fever the fifth important one and very important for your neat pg as this is very frequent uh, case in opds or uh, with immunocompromised patient so if in question it is given the HIV positive patient or AIDS patient or with diabetic patient means in any immunocompromised state if you see white uh, white lesions or uh, arrhythmatous base you can easily come to the diagnosis of oral candidiasis there will be white plaques over the arrhythmatous plaques so it is a characteristic feature of oral candidiasis so this uh, uh, I will continue with the other image based series till then revised uh, all of your notes and the important stuffs you have made till up, to, up till now try to revise them all and uh, yeah, just stay focused and no need to worry much you will be giving your exams very good and you will fetch a very good marks and high ranks so just stay confident and stay focused. Thank you.